Hey guys, my name is Benley, a co-op student for Chromeworks, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use list, variables, and answer blocks. Alright, to start off, I made a ball that randomly bounces around the screen. Some of these command blocks are not shown until later in the video, so stay tuned for those command blocks, and then you can add them after. So first off, we're going to add a sprite. I'm going to make mine the cat. Move it right here. And then we're going to go to events and add a when the sprite is clicked. This is uh, so when you click the sprite, it's going to ask you uh, what your name is and you can type it in and it will say hey. So to use this block, you want to use ask your name. This block is connected with this, with this answer block and we're going to use it later on. You'll see how it works together. So next we're going to add a control block and add a wait one second. Then we're going to add a say block say hello for two seconds and then we're gonna add a join block join apple banana so with this join block this is basically to add some more commands and make the sentence say the answer so do that we're gonna have the hey and then it's important you add a comma then space because if not it's gonna join the the hey and the banana together without the space but we're not going to have it say banana, we're going to have it um, say the answer. To do that, we're going to add another join into this banana. And then we're going to have the app, the first apple in this new join say uh, the answer. So you want to go back to sensing and put the answer for the apple. And then now you want to... Oh, not going to do that. And then now you want to put a nice to meet you with an exclamation mark add a space in the beginning of the nice because it's going to uh, join the answer if not all right let's now test this out if we click on the cat and make it kit as a name it'll say hey kit nice to meet you and to make it more uh, grammarly correct you can put a comma at the beginning of this nice to meet you all right so we're gonna go to the next sprite our next sprite is gonna be uh, named nano uh, he's a bit big, so we want to scale him down to like size 80. There you go. And the first block we're gonna add is the events, and when the start button is, start, is clicked, you're gonna want to go to controls and add a forever. In the forever, we're gonna add a say hello, not to say hello for two seconds, since this is gonna be on for the whole screen. And we're gonna go back and add another join block into here. And we're going to want to make this say the ball touched me. Alright. Add a space at the end of that so it doesn't mash with the banana. And then we're going to add another join into the banana part. And we're going to make this one be a variable. Alright, so to create this variable, you want to go to make a variable. And we're going to name it touched. So when the ball touches nano it's gonna count and then you don't want it to be selected on the top so it doesn't show up here when you start the game and then you want to drag this into the apple slot and then make it say space times so again so it doesn't uh, connect with the touched and also we should put a period at the end for proper punctuations the same touch variable is going to be in your ball command and this makes it so when the ball touches nano it's oh, going to oh, count oh, how many times it's uh being hit oh, by the ball all right for our next sprite i'm going to be teaching guys how to make a list so we're going to want to search a sprite we're going to be doing the giga sprite we're going to add her here and scale her down a bit 80 and then we're gonna want to make a list to make a list we're gonna name it random stuff because it's gonna be saying random stuff all right and you can see right here there's a there's a list that you can add to so if you click the plus you can make a list of things it's gonna say all right so the first thing I want to make it say is 
I'm hungry. Just a bunch of random silly stuff I'm gonna make it say. Uh, you can also uh, go on the bottom right and drag it so you can see it better. Um, and then second, I'm gonna say, why are you clicking me? Add another. You can make this say, who's your favorite scratch mascot? Oh, I screwed up the favorite. Still can't see it, you can drag it out a bit more. Damn, I messed up mascot as well. And then the last one we can say, no time to talk. Now we got our random list of stuff. You can unselect this so it doesn't show. And then we're gonna start making our commands. So the first command we're gonna to wanna to make is go to events and click on when this right is clicked. We're gonna to wanna to make it say stuff. So make it say. And you go back to variables and we add the item of one thing. And then we're gonna add a pick random so it picks out of the random stuff and it it's already selected random stuff here. You, it might you might have other list, but you just click on random stuff, and then in this little ten spot, we're gonna add a length of random stuff, and just like that, you should have it say random stuff. So if you click on Giga, who's your favorite mascot? I'm hungry. No time to talk. Why are you clicking me? And just goes through all the list of stuff that you created from this list block. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use list answer and variable blocks. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.